today I'm reviewing the CeraVe Hydrating Foaming Oil Cleanser. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos, so if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsb.com, check my Patreon for me, or click on the links below. Okay, so this one I picked up a while ago. Uh, it's not readily available in the U.S., but I will link to it. Uh, it's available at a few stores uh, that you can get in the U.S. I think care to beauty is where I got it from. There's a few other ones. Um, but be cautious buying this one um, from like eBay or Amazon because uh, CeraVe isn't officially selling this in the U.S. So if you see it listed on like Amazon or something, it's probably like a reseller and not super keen on sometimes those resellers. But anyway, it's kind of a complicated issue, which uh, anyway, okay, so they say CeraVe Hydrating Foaming Oil Cleanser is a daily cleanser and its unique foaming, foaming oil formula gently cleanses while providing a nourishing comfort that leaves skin on the face and body looking healthy and feeling refreshed. This one I've only used on my face. I haven't used it on my body at all because to be 100% honest, it's too expensive to use on the body. It's, I mean, it's not, it's not like an expensive cleanser, but if I use this on the body, I'd probably finish this in like a month. So, and that would get a little pricey for me. Okay. Uh, so, my first criteria is packaging. No issues with the packaging. Clear bottle. Yeah. They say it's for normal to very dry skin, but um, I think it works well for uh, many. It's not really like... Okay, I'll get to that when I talk about the ease of use. It's not really like a traditional cleansing oil when you think of it, but I'll get to that in a second. So, okay, in terms of dry or denatured types of alcohol, there's none of those. There's no fragrance and it has no scent. Uh, it is made in Francais. Je parle français. Je m'appelle Sarah. That's what I remember from French class. Je parle français un peu. Je suis American. <laughs> so somebody from France grade me on that. No hablo espagnol. No hablo français. <laughs> no hablo français. français. Okay. So ease of use. So typically a cleansing oil, you would apply it to dry skin. That's how it cleanses the best. With a normal cleansing oil, if you put it on wet skin... It's going to emulsify instantly and not remove anything and go down the drain and leave you still with makeup sunscreen on. This one you apply to wet skin with water. So after you've dampened your face, you apply it, smooth it over. It gets a light lather. You can use a small amount, like half a pump is enough for my face and neck. Um, and then smooth it over and then rinse off and then dry your face. If you have a lot of makeup, sunscreen, it's not really like a traditional cleansing oil where it will remove those very easily. If you do that, you can use this in one step if you use a washcloth or a Foreo or a sponge or a face cleansing device that oomps it up enough to uh, remove things. But if you just do it with your hands, wet skin, it just doesn't remove everything that way. So... Uh, so to get it really clean, you really do need like a device like that or like a pre-cleansing oil, which is like, then what's the point of it? It's unique. When I got this, I thought it would be like a traditional cleansing oil. I didn't realize it was one that you want to apply to wet skin. If you apply it to dry, dry skin, uh, it, it kind of dries your skin out a lot. So you don't really want to do it that way. So it's, it's a unique product, but I've figured out if I use it with a washcloth, it's a good one-step cleanser. If I don't use it with a washcloth, I really need to use another cleanser beforehand uh, or another cleanser after or something like that. So it's very easy to use, but you got to use it the right way. And yeah, so it's different in that way. I, I When I ordered it, I thought it'd be like a normal cleansing oil. I probably would have liked it a bit more had it been like a traditional cleansing oil, but it, it's not. So... It kind of reminds me of the Paula's Choice Omega Cleansing Balm where that one, that's one you can do to wet skin or dry skin, which is wonderful. This one, you just really want to do it to, to wet skin, damp skin, because if you apply it to dry skin, it will uh, leave your skin feeling pretty dry afterwards. So otherwise it's easy to use, but you really want to use a washcloth or a foreign. It was kind of what I'm saying. Okay, antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. So for the uh, cleansing ingredients, we've got PEG 200 hydrogenated glycerol palmate. We've got cocoa betaine, uh, disodium cocoa glutamate, PEG 7 glycerol cocoa 8, which are all surfactants. They're all cleansing ingredients and uh, pretty gentle. Most skin will tolerate them okay. Uh, then we've got squalane, which is a skin identical ingredient. We've got uh, different ceramides. We've got three different ceramides, which are all skin identical ingredients. We've got cholesterol, another good skin identical ingredient. We've got sodium hyaluronate, which is a humectant. 
We've got phytosphygnazine, which is another, it's a lipid. It's uh, kind of relating to ceramides and things like that. It has cell communicating peptides. Uh, and then we've got hydroxyacetophenone, which is an antioxidant preservative combo. It's nice that they threw in the ceramides. Their marketing is ceramides, so I guess they kind of have to. Most of it goes down the drain, but overall, it's got gentle cleansing ingredients. Uh, nothing that's going to be too rough, drying, or irritating. And then some hydrating ingredients, so very good for that. Uh, in terms of animal testing, CeraVe is not cruelty-free, which I just... Every time I research it, I expect them to suddenly become cruelty-free, and I don't know if they ever are. So, that's why I, I'm a little bit annoyed with them, because in 2022, I think, at this point, it's like, I just can't believe that there's all these over-the-counter products, and they're not. I get the prescription stuff, because for certain regulations, I have to test on animals, but for all the over-the-counter I don't know. Anyway, I should do a CeraVe cruelty-free dupe video. Okay, anyway, in terms of performance, it does a decent job removing makeup and sunscreen when I use it with a cleansing device. Uh, it's not quite as cleansing as I expect to get from my cleansing oil, but this isn't really a cleansing oil per se. Uh, it does rinse clean. It doesn't leave skin feeling tight. didn't cause any breakouts. Pretty friendly for uh, most skin types, including dry, dry skin. And it's also pretty friendly for acne-prone skin. There's only squalane and carbomer to be concerned about, which are two... Acne-jug ingredients that are pretty low in terms of uh, their rating for that. Uh, the price for this, so this is a full size, 8 ounces, 236 milliliters. I think they have a larger size, but this is the size I got. It was $13.50, so it's not expensive, but still too expensive to use on my body, in my opinion. But I guess if my skin were really, you know what, they, they have an eczema cleansing cream, which come in a white and red bottle. I had really good luck with that for the my body product. Uh, in terms of the it factor for this, it's an average cleanser. It's not much of a makeup remover or a real oil-based cleanser, like a real one. Obviously, they just came out with a cleansing balm, which i uh, kind of torn on. I'll review it. I'm still testing it. They came out with a makeup remover as well. Um, but just not what I was hoping for or expecting, but not terrible. But I, I would love to see a true oil-based cleanser from CeraVe, but... I'd also love to see them go cruelty-free, and I don't know if either of those will ever happen. In my lifetime, maybe. It depends on how long I live. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> anyway. So, anyway, with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one an 8. Not my favorite product. Not terrible. But it's okay. It's a B. Like you get a B in school. Although, in my art class in 7th grade... I cheated and I turned in my friend who drew a penguin. I turned in her exact same drawing and they gave me a C and they gave her an A. So, and that's still, I was like about to have like the honor roll and that C in art took me off. It was so stupid. And I'm still thinking about today in the seventh grade and the teacher's name, Mr. Van something, whatever. Okay, rant over because <laughs> now I'm going to stew about it. Anyway. So those are my thoughts. Interest hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to check this one out yet or not. And if you have what your thoughts are, uh, leave a comment. Love hearing from you. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.